Now recently a subscriber asked, how come I always see everybody's Facebook updates and their lives are so much more exciting than mine? How do I get that? You know, surprisingly, you are not the first person I heard this from. You know, I've seen a lot of people compare their lives to someone else's from what they've seen on Facebook, and I gotta tell you something. Back to time, it's all bullshit. But we'll save that topic for the next vlog. So before we get into that, let's talk about this whole thing out. Let's just say, for example, that these people are actually living that dope life. They popping champagne bottles off a supermodel's butthole. They licking whipped cream off of J-Lo's Georgia peach booty cheeks. Oh, but can I ask you this? If you want to live an exciting life, why the fuck are you always on Facebook, huh? You know, half the time people who complain that they have nothing to do tend not to do shit in general. <laughs> now think about what I just said. Instead of sitting there beating your dick like you're holding it for ransom, why don't you go and do something? Oh my god, did I just give a solution to a problem? Holy shit, what bowling pin? You know, after you beat your dick that much, eventually it's gonna fight back. <laughs> Watch you reach for your dick and it be like, not today, motherfucker. Listen, you cannot complain that you have nothing to do when all you do is lay in your room with your thumb up your ass. Get your ass up and use your fucking legs, my god. Motherfucker, there are people in wheelchairs looking at you like, why don't you use them? You would think that the amount of time that you have spent on your computer complaining about your shit that you would find something to do. Do you realize that half your time is spent on your ass wondering and complaining why you can't have what other people have? And yes, I understand there are certain limitations and I'm not talking about those type of people. I'm not saying that if you can, you should be, you know, riding a giraffe, fucking a hippo, and punching a fucking dolphin in the stomach. You <laughs> Listen, not every single life experience has to be extravagant. Not everything has to cost money, but you do have to make the conscious effort in actually doing something about it. There's only so much that you can do chilling in your bedroom before you realize that you actually have to go and make your memories. And you know, I always hear that same fucking excuse. The city that I live in is so fucking boring, I wish I lived in LA. Motherfucker, if you lazy, it don't matter where you live, you gonna be doing the same shit here that you were doing over there. You move a dumbass from one place to another, it's just an idiot in a different location. <laughs> Look, you guys always hear me say the same thing. Life is always what you make it, but it's up to you to take what you deserve. So having said that, if you want to have experiences to share with the world, you gotta go out and have life experiences. This is common sense. Is it just me? Oh my God. <laughs> go outside, I find the Loch Ness Monster, hunt that motherfucking bitch, and ride that bitch like a cowboy. Whee! <laughs> In 2015, I've already set a goal. I'm gonna find me a unicorn, and I'm gonna whisper dirty things in its ears. <laughs> Let me ask you this, why do you think I always have something to say or this weird story to tell? Because when I'm not writing or doing work or taking meetings, I'm doing more than just sitting in my fucking room wondering what the fuck everybody else is doing. When I was younger and I had a lot more free time, I went outside, I talked to people, I experienced weird things because I did things out of my comfort zone. Thus, I have more experiences to talk about. Get your ass out your chair and go do something. Get off your social media bullshit, live, and do something. Get off of YouTube. Stop. No, don't. You stay on. You watch my shit, and then get off and do it. I've heard many people comparing the. Uh, whoopsie. I've heard many people comparing their lives to what they've seen on other people's face. What are you saying, you dumbass? Kill him!